You don't really know much about Halloween. and welcome to another unboxing video. I am Joel. I am half of the Newly Duds, along with my wife, Laura. We are content creators. Uh, we have a television show that is on the Monster Channel, uh, the Vortex, Tingler Television, and Other Worlds TV. Uh, it's called Dollar Store Drive-In. You can check that out weekly. Also, I'm putting the classic episodes on our YouTube channel, which you can find here at this location, along with uh, our snacking videos. Follow us around. Um, and a bunch of other content there as well. Also, if you just want to look for everything all in the same place, just head over to thenewlydeads.com. That is our home away from home where you can find all of our content, uh, as well as uh, I write a movie review blog called Cinematorium. Uh, we write a coffee review blog called Coffinated. And uh, Laura writes a, a small business review blog called Unearthing Small Business, where we try and seek out uh, small businesses anywhere in the world and uh, give them a little push because, you know, we're all about grassroots marketing as we are a small little independent section of the world and we like to, you know, promote our friends. So if you're interested in being a part of that or have any questions, comments, or concerns, please go to uh, <laughs> your email and contact us at contact at thenewlydeads.com or uh, you can always reach out to us directly through our Facebook page, just like The Newly Deads, and I update that pretty much daily. Uh, I'm online. Uh, so. I am always quick to respond, and if not, I am not. Uh, Laura is always available as well. So uh, for this video, I know I was on a hiatus for a little bit, and I apologize, I'm out of breath. I was kind of rushing around trying to get things set up. Um, things have been kind of crazy in the world of the Newly Deads, as it is for everybody this time of year. And as Halloween is now officially over, sadness, uh, my wife and I have now celebrated our fourth year of being married, and we're about to go up on six years of us being together. So. Technically, we're still the newly deads, and we always will be. So uh, for this video, what I have is the Vinegar Syndrome September subscriber box. I know the October subscriber box has already been shipped. It's already sitting right over there. You can't see it off camera, but it exists. I have it. Um, like I said, I'm a little behind, but um, that just means there's going to be a lot of content coming. There is a lot of things that I have uh, been sitting on, so to speak, and I'm excited to share with you guys. So I'm going to try and get back on track. And um, so anyway, the first one we have here, and I'm going to try to avoid any potential YouTube things that are going to get me, you know, shut down, not shut down, but anyway, I'll have to be aware. So the first one we have is Delirium uh, Photos of Gloria. This is from 1987. Um, this is directed by Lamberto Bava, who did uh, Demons and Demons 2 or Demoni, which uh, are personal favorites of, of Laura and myself. Uh, so the basic plot of this is that models working for a nude magazine um, are being killed gruesomely. Sounds like a giallo, if you ask me. Uh, the murderer stages and photographs the victims' corpses, submitting the images for publication. I don't know if they're going to get published. Uh, this stars Dario Nicoletti, uh, who you may know from Phenomena, uh, Deep Red, Tenebrae. Uh, George Eastman, who was in, I'm going to try and get this right here, uh, Anthropophagus? I should be better at that one by now. And a bunch of Django films uh, as well. And a little bit of uh, trivia on this film. Uh, Dario Argento was at one point attached, but pulled out due to scripting changes, which, you know, that sort of thing happens. So uh, let's see here. I'm going to have to try and cover up a couple of things on the back here that YouTube does not allow. I know this one on the front is a little risque, but I think it's okay. Oh, <laughs> as I flip it over and I'm like, hey, take a look at this. Uh, cover is also the same as the slip cover. Then on the back, you've got, uh, you know, special features, the uh, basic information. This is a 4K release, uh, as well as shots from the film. And inside, uh, you know, just the two discs. So um, I've said this before on the channel, I do not have a 4K player as of yet, but it is something that I am looking towards getting here in the near future. 
and uh, I'll have to let you know how that works in terms of, of upgrading. Um, I've heard that it's fantastic, but as of yet, not a thing, because i got to get a new TV and uh, the player, so it's kind of a, a package. Anyway, the second title that came out, and a lot of people are really excited about this. Um, I don't know that I've seen the first one, to be brutally honest. As many horror films as I've seen, uh, somehow I think that one has escaped me, probably because I'm not a huge werewolf guy. Uh, but The Howling 2, your sister is a werewolf. Um, <laughs> this is from 1985, uh, directed by uh, Philippe Mora, who did The Beast Within, which uh, all of you um, kind of exploitation fans will know that one. Uh, and Pterodactyl Woman from Beverly Hills, which I believe started starred uh, Beverly D'Angelo, if I'm not mistaken. So this film is a sequel to The Howling, of course. Um, the plot is that a man discovers that his sister was a werewolf and helps an investigator track down a gang at the a gang of the monsters through the United States and Eastern Europe. Uh, this one is kind of notorious for uh, Christopher Lee's performance and the sunglasses that he wears. Uh, Sybil Danning is, you know, the lead. And there's a, uh, a werewolf uh, naughty scene that uh, is, again, kind of notorious. Uh, so like I said, Christopher Lee is in this from, of course, the Star Wars franchise, Lord of the Rings franchise. Um, he was also in The Wicker Man, which is, you know, kind of the quintessential folk horror. Um, and this also stars Red Brown, who I put in here just because he was the original Captain America for TV. And he was in your uh, Hunter from the Future, which is, again, another kind of classic uh, low budget um, swords and sandals, futuristic, weirdy. It's it's an interesting film. If you've never seen it, check it out. Uh, so in this, when Christopher Lee was cast in Gremlins Two, the new badge, uh, one of the first things he did was apologize to director Joe Dante, who had directed, of course, Halloween, uh, the Howling One from 1981, uh, for being in this movie. Uh, the reason he did this film. He was never in a werewolf movie before. And as you know, if you're a fan of Hammer Horror, you know that Christopher Lee was in a lot of the Hammer films, which uh, surprisingly was never. He did a lot of Dracula and uh, kind of gothic castle stuff. Anyway, uh, so on the back, we have this shot here. I don't see anything inappropriate. Uh, now, this is another 4K, uh, which the, luckily these include the Blu-ray as well. Some of the 4Ks that are out there don't. Um, you've got you know info on the back here about everything that's inside. And then this, where this kind of separates is, of course, you've got the double disc, but you've also got this fantastic little booklet. Scary beastie there. Uh, Sybil Danning in her attire. Do a quick flip here. All right, so we got uh, some nice uh, shots from the film, some background on it. Uh, you know, I love all the the uh, special features on stuff. I like to dig deep into films, especially ones that I'm not familiar with, give myself a little education and um, a little infotainment, as it were. Uh, these booklets are neat. Uh, I think we're right there. Um, but sometimes I don't get a chance to read them. And so I've got a lot of these that I really need to go through at some point. Because I know there's uh, some of my other uh, friends online that are content creators um, and just friends that are into collecting uh, physical media really like to go through and read the books. And I've read them before. I just sometimes I don't have the time to, because um, I, I love to read and I'm, I'm currently reading three books at the same time. And so, you know, when I'm, whenever I'm reading, you know, I'm kind of focused on whichever book it is that I'm going to be focusing on at that point. And so these kind of booklets sometimes slip through the cracks, which is unfortunate because there's a lot of time and effort put into those and uh, a lot of good information. So at some point I will have to circle back and start going through them. All right, so we're done with that. It disappeared. It's gone. Um, and the last thing that came out, and this is the thing I was most excited about, to be honest, um, is the Cruel, Britan Cruel Britannia Three Killers from the UK. And I'll get to why I was excited about this in a minute. Uh, so this contains three films, obviously. Crucible of Terror from 1971, uh, Penny Gold from 1973, and Craze from 1974. So um, we will start with uh, Crucible of Terror which for that film, it is about an obsessed sculptor who kills a young woman to make the perfect bronze sculpture of her. And years later, at his secluded home, a number of people become trapped in a web of revenge, murder, and horror. Sounds vaguely Giallo-esque. Uh, that was directed by Ted Hooker. Uh, this is all that he directed. He was more of an editor. So, you know, he had a bigger career as being an editor. Uh, that film stars Ronald Lacey, 
who was in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. You may remember his face melting. Um, and he was in Red Sonja, which is kind of a classic sword and sandal uh, of the of a sequel to Conan, or a spinoff of Conan, maybe is a better way to say that. Couldn't find any trivia out on that movie, so sorry about that. Uh, so Penny Gold uh, is about uh, someone that, uh, while investigating a murder case, a detective stumbles upon a rare stamp swindle involving the victim's twin sister. Again, sounds vaguely Giallo-esque. Uh, that was directed by Jack Cardiff, who did The Liquidator and Intent to Kill, just to name a couple. Uh, stars James Booth, who was in Pray for Death. Yes. Uh, love a good Shokasuki movie. And Airport 77. Now, that kind of distinction of that film is that it was John Rice Davies' first film. Finally. We get to the one that I was waiting for, Craze from 1974. Uh, this is about a nutty antique dealer who starts to sacrifice women to an African idol. It stars, or I'm sorry, it was directed by Freddie Francis, who did The Day of the Triffids, Tales from the Crypt, and a ton of other stuff that you will know if you're a 70s uh, British horror film person. Uh, stars Jack Palance, who was, of course, most of you will know from City Slickers, but he was also in Shane, and just a slew of other bad guy roles in his career. Um, again, not a lot of interesting trivia on this, but my own personal trivia with Craze and why I'm excited about it is that when I was in college, uh, this was between my freshman and sophomore year, I stayed, once I moved out of my house, I stayed on campus uh, and I worked um, my way through school, working for the school itself um, for the first couple of years. And so during the summer, I was working on the, the, uh, the, the, the housekeeping crew and I was living on campus with my best friend and, and cousin. And we had a little TV, and whenever it was the evening, we would, you know, sit down and watch whatever happened to be on, which a lot of times was Mr. Ed, uh, was kind of our staple. But one night a movie was on and it was Jack Palance, this idol, and he was murdering people. And I just got sucked into it and I watched the whole thing. And I think, I feel like my, my roommate did as well. I, I don't know for sure. I talked to him about it after this came out and they didn't really have any recollection of it, but I seem to remember them being there. However, at the time, you know, Things were a little bit different because it was college and you know. anyway, um, <laughs> so that was the drinking, uh, you, you get it. So anyway, um, I had been trying to figure out what the movie was for a while. And then, you know, as the internet got bigger and the database got larger, I eventually figured it out. And then I was looking it up and it wasn't it didn't really have a good physical media release. And as I got into Blu-ray and things, I was just kind of waiting patiently. And then I saw this was coming out. And, um, you know, right there on the back, you've got Jack Palance in craze right here on the front. You've got the idol, uh, and then the other two are the other two movies. Anyway, so let's get, dig into this. You know, so, um, we've got the nice little cover there on the back. We've got the titles of the film inside more of the same. In the back, we've got information about all of the films. Then inside, um, so on this one, we've got Penny Gold and Crucible of Terror. And this one, we've got Craze. Um, and then behind the discs, we have just more of, you know, Jack Plants screaming in, in, in terror. Uh, sadly, I've not had a chance to watch this. For some reason in my brain, until I've done a video on something, I don't tend to watch it because I kind of want to make sure that, you know, you're getting at this as soon as I get it, and then after you've gotten it, then I'll get it. I think that made sense. Um, <laughs> so this is a lot of a lot of slipcover stuff here. All right, now this one again, uh, once again, has has a nice little booklet. This contains essays by Simon J. Ballard, John Deere, uh, not the tractor person, J O N Deere, uh, e D A R, and Adrian Smith. Um, on the back, you've got the three films that are contained within. Um, again, very nicely bound, perfect bound kind of book. There's the, uh, the idol. There's Jack looking very disturbed. Um, and then, you know, as I said in, in earlier, there's uh, so much good information here and I just don't always take the time to sit down and read it. And that's, that's on me. Um, but for those of you who really like a good book, oh, and that wonderful smell, uh, this has got you covered for, for the slip case, for the films being kind of, you know, a, a great little cross section of, of the time period. Uh, you've got a lot of information contained in the book. 
I mean, vinegar syndrome really just for something that I didn't even know was was coming, uh, just kind of knocked it out of the park, in my opinion, as far as putting this little package together. And I love, as much as I'm a completionist, and I like to have everything kind of, you know, just so on the shelves. I love a good box set. Um, in For me, a box set is anything, you know, two and over. Um, if it's all the same series, excellent. If it's a theme thing, I love it just as much. Um, and for me, it, again, it goes back to that kind of educating myself in terms of what is out there and um, kind of give myself a, a film school education, even though I went to film school, uh, an additional education, a continuing education, as it were, to get my master's degree in uh, filmology. And it's not possible, I don't think, if you don't have an actual educator giving you the information. I'm just learning on myself. I'm a self-taught master's degree kind of guy. But anyway, um, I don't know. I was just kind of vamping there to, to get you through the book. Nothing of any sort of, uh, you know what I mean? All right. So that is it. Done with that. That is the uh, September uh, subscriber box from Vinegar Syndrome, which um, my subscription is going to be ending soon, which means content is going to be shifting um, depending on if I re-up my subscription, which right now doesn't look like it's going to be possible. But who knows? Stranger things have happened. And if I can make it so, I certainly will because it has been a good time this year. So thank you, Vinegar Syndrome, for providing me with an entire year of great content as well as uh, zero shipping costs and a lot of sales and discounts. So much appreciated. I just wish I had unlimited funds and it would be, you know, an insanity because I wouldn't know what to do with all the movies I would have. So anyway, on that note, remember kids that tomorrow is not guaranteed. So don't forget to unbox your heart. I'll see you next time. Be done, you see. Between the real and the unreal, the dead might be looking at Halloween, the festival of sour. Happy Halloween.